In the latest news from the stars, the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered a discovery that's turning our cosmic understanding on its head. What is it? A colossal black hole hanging out in ancient galaxies far, far away from our Milky Way. No one was ready for this discovery, but surprise, surprise. This revelation has stirred up a storm in the world of astrophysics, catching the attention of a well-known scientist, Michio Kaku. He is buzzing about how this finding could be a game-changer, throwing open the door to mysteries hidden within this giant black hole that is also confused for being six different galaxies. How did we come to know about this happening thing in the universe? Well, the James Webb Space Telescope isn't just taking pretty space pictures. It's also giving us the crucial information we need to dig into the age, makeup, and moves of these celestial bodies. Hello, Spaces. Welcome back to our channel where we talk all about space. In this video, we are going to talk about a controversial game changing discovery in space. Without any further ado, let's begin with the journey to unravel the truth behind this mind-blowing discovery. Want to know more about the Universe Breakers? Stay with us till the end of the video. Recently, James Webb Telescope updated us with the Universe Breakers, that is, six ancient galaxies present at the farthest edges of the cosmos. And here is the fun part. They are not where we expected them to be. The James Webb Space Telescope is the star of the whole discovery, not just for its stunning visuals, but for dropping the bomb that challenges everything we thought we knew about these far-off galaxies. What's so special about these galaxies? Well, besides being ancient, they formed way earlier than anyone anticipated, about 250 to 400 million years post Big Bang. That's throwing a curveball at our cosmic knowledge. It's like finding a senior citizen at a party for toddlers, not what you had expect. Huh. This discovery is denying things we knew about the universe and is rewriting the whole story. It's like finding out the universe might be older than we thought, or that the process of making galaxies started way ahead in times than we think. Evaluating these discoveries, Michio Kaku is suggesting that these ancient galaxies might not be galaxies at all. They could be colossal black holes in disguise. It's like discovering that your favorite actor was wearing a mask all along. If Michio Kaku's bold theory turns out to be true, it suggests that the rules governing the universe might be different from what we currently understand. This opens the door to the possibility of undiscovered laws of physics, especially concerning how black holes form and grow. Kaku's idea not only raises scientific questions, but also urges researchers to explore new frontiers and consider alternative possibilities in our evolving understanding of the universe. Moreover, this revelation isn't just pushing scientific boundaries, it's challenging a fundamental principle of cosmology too. That is, the Big Bang Theory. This traditional theory suggests the universe started from a dense point and expanded over billions of years. The proposed timeline for the birth of stars and galaxies is closely linked to the Big Bang theory. But the observation of ancient galaxies raises a question, how can such complex and massive galaxies exist during a period when, according to the theory, only the initial stages of star and galaxy formation were expected? If these galaxies really existed early on, it challenges the established belief that the processes leading to galaxy formation occurred at a slower pace or followed a different path than our current models suggest. The James Webb Space Telescope, a technological marvel, plays a pivotal role in unraveling these mysteries. Its sophisticated capabilities enable scientists to conduct in-depth analysis of the universe, bringing about transformative changes in our scientific understanding. When the telescope captures an image, the subsequent process of deciphering the mysteries contained within is both intricate and illuminating. The James Webb Space Telescope employs some pretty cool techniques to squeeze valuable data from its observations. One method involves measuring something called redshift, which helps scientists figure out how fast a galaxy is moving and how far away it is. 
Another method involves analyzing the light spectrum, acting like a unique cosmic fingerprint for each element present in a galaxy. This spectral analysis is like reading the history book of these celestial bodies, revealing their evolutionary processes over time. Each image captured by this space marvel is like a treasure chest of data, propelling our understanding of the universe forward. One key player in enhancing the telescope's capabilities is gravitational lensing, a mind-blowing phenomenon straight out of Einstein's theory of general relativity. How, you ask? Imagine gravitational lensing as a cosmic magnifying glass, the gravity of a massive object, like a galaxy or a black hole, bends and amplifies the light from objects behind it. This bending of light acts like a celestial magnifying glass, allowing astronomers to observe distant, faint objects as larger and brighter than they would normally appear. This gravitational lensing is like a superhero move, crucial for studying distant black holes and galaxies. For usually elusive black holes, gravitational lensing becomes a great tool. When a black hole sits between us and a distant light source, it bends the light around it, creating a visible ring called an Einstein ring. This unique phenomenon allows astronomers to detect and study black holes that would otherwise remain hidden. But gravitational lensing isn't just a black hole sidekick, it plays a vital role in studying far-off galaxies too. By magnifying and distorting the light from these galaxies, astronomers gain valuable insights into their properties and the early stages of the universe. This technique has been a game changer in discovering some of the most remote galaxies ever observed. However, the ongoing debate between ancient galaxies and supermassive black holes is like a cosmic chess match where every move opens up a universe of new questions and possibilities. The huge role of black holes in the universe is a topic that captivates both scientists and the public imagination. A fascinating theory suggests that black holes could act as cosmic hard drives, following the principles of quantum physics. According to this idea, information about the matter swallowed by a black hole isn't lost, but stored in its event horizon, potentially holding an incredible amount of cosmic secrets. Some astrophysicists, including the ever-imaginative Michio Kaku, propose that black holes might be remnants from previous universes, fitting into a grand cyclical theory. This model views our universe as just one phase in an ongoing cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. In this cosmic story, black holes persist through the cosmic cycle, acting as links between consecutive universes. This shifts our perspective on black holes from being endpoints of massive stars to fundamental parts in the cosmic world. The psychical cosmos theory suggests that our universe might one day collapse into a singularity, birthing new black holes that could serve as the seeds for a future universe. This radical perspective transforms black holes from destructive forces into crucial contributors to the ongoing evolution of the cosmos, potentially holding answers to some of the most significant mysteries in our universe. While the discovery of Object X7 initially fueled speculation about extraterrestrial origins, the James Webb Space Telescope's thorough analysis exposed the alien hype, revealing it to be a massive cloud of dust and gas. Despite the less sensational outcome, identifying X7 as a substantial cloud influenced by the gravitational pull of a nearby black hole provided valuable insights into the dynamic processes at the heart of our galaxy. Moreover, the theory proposes that extraterrestrial beings might use black holes as information storage centers. Contrary to earlier beliefs, black holes might not erase information but could store it in some mysterious form. Picturing extraterrestrial species accessing this stored information transforms black holes into potential cosmic data centers. While these ideas are speculative, they expand our understanding of both black holes and the potential capabilities of advanced extraterrestrial life, painting a picture of a universe where technological and knowledge limits are vastly expanded. Even Nikolai Kardashev's concept of civilization classification provides an intriguing framework to explore how both human and potentially extraterrestrial societies utilize energy. Categorizing civilizations into three types 
based on energy consumption and technological advancement, opens up possibilities beyond our current achievements. Type 1 civilizations efficiently harness the energy resources of their entire planet. Type 2 civilizations take it a step further, tapping into the energy of their entire star, possibly through megastructures like Dyson Spheres. The most advanced are Type 3 civilizations, capable of controlling energy on the scale of their entire galaxy. Applying Kardashev's classification to the idea of advanced extraterrestrial societies introduces incredible possibilities, suggesting stages of technological and energy advancement that we on Earth have yet to achieve. A big question in front of us is, could there be civilizations in the cosmos that have reached Type 2 or even Type 3, harnessing the power of entire stars or galaxies? Michio Kaku's revelations about the recent discovery leave us doubting our own future. Where does humanity stand on this civilization classification scale? Could this discovery imply there are many more aspects of our universe yet to be uncovered? These questions prompt further exploration and contemplation, make us think what lies further in the space explorations. What do you think about the same? Do share your views in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to like and share. For more such content, subscribe to our channel right away. See you soon in the next video.